Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we discuss the next code that is the gray code. Alright. Uh, gray code. Wow. I this small and that a capital. Sorry for that. But it doesn't matter. Okay. So today's topic is the gray code. Okay. This gray code has a number of names. It's also called reflected code reflected code okay the next name is it's called a cyclic code all right and the next name it is it has is the unit distance unit distance and minimum error code so these are a few names that have, that this gray code has got, all right? This code for the first time was given by a mathematician named Frank Gray and therefore it's named after him, all right? Frank Gray. Now what is the property or what is the specification of this code that we're discussing it? Uh, so first of all, first of all, this is an unweighted code. This is an unweighted code in which each position does not have any positional weight. All right. Now, now this gray code is such a binary numeral system in which each successive uh, each successive entry is only one bit changed. All right. We have what? So, so let me write it down. Gray code is a binary numeral system in which each successive, uh, each successive what? Each successive values. Uh, two successive values differ in only one bit. All right, two successive values, any two successive values, they will differ in only one bit. Here I've written the gray code for the binary uh, convert. We have converted the binary to the gray code. You don't need to worry about that. We'll see it in, the, in, the, in a moment. But this is just for the sake of explanation, okay? So we explain this property also and we explain, and it also has the property to reduce switching operations, all right? So let me write it down that a binary number is uh, converted to gray code to reduce switching operations. All right now, so have a look. If this is gray code for zero and this is the gray code for one, so have a look at the first property, only one bit is different. All right, now look like for one and two, again, only one bit is different. Now if you have uh, for two and three, so again, only one bit. Similarly for three and four, so only one bit is different. For four and five, again, only one bit. For five and six, we have one bit again. So which means that only one bit is different in any two successive values. For 10 and 11, for 9 and 10, for 15 and 16, for 22 and 23. So we have only one bit difference. All right. Now the next property is to reduce the switching operations. Now have a look. If you have to switch from 0 to 1, or if you have to switch from 1 to 0, so you only need to change a single bit, all right? Uh, uh, it is it is easy for the for the lesser bits, but if you change now, have a look for higher numbers. Let's say uh, if you're changing from from four to five, all right? So, so have a look over here, or from five to four. So you need to change one bit. You need to change two bits, okay? But here, if in the gray code, you only need to change one bit. All right, now have a look. If you're changing from six to seven, 
switching from 6 to 7, switching, or 7 to 6, in both the cases you have to check 1, 2, 3, and 4 bits. But here in this case, in the gray code, you can you ha only have to switch what? Only this one bit. Alright? Uh, and similarly, you, you can have as many examples as you want. Let's say from 11 to 12 you're changing, or from 12 to 11 you're switching. So 1, 2, 3. 3 bits you're changing again, but over here you have to only change this one bit. Alright? In the gray code. So that's all about the introduction of the gray code. Now in the next, we can work, we see the interconversions, okay? From binary to gray code, and from gray code to binary, both, all right? All right, so we continue to the next part, where we now see the interconversions. So first we see is binary to the gray code, okay? And I've written down the steps to, 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 to save a little time, all right? So what are the steps? We got three steps, basically two. Write the MSB as it is, and then you add the MSB to the next bit, you write the sum down, and you neglect the carry. It's a zero neglected, it's a one you neglected, and you carry on. So we explain this through an example, okay? Let's say uh, we have a number 1110. For example, we have 1110. One, one, all right, so now what do you do? You write the MSB as it is, all right? So you bring it down, you write it as it is. Add MSB to the next bit, which means you add this one over here. So one and one, the sum is zero and the carry is one. So the carry is neglected and the sum is written zero. All right, now, now this becomes your next bit so you add not sorry this becomes your next bit now this bit comes down here and gets added to this one so you add one and one is again a zero in the sum now this bit comes here this one comes here and, and it's added to zero so you add zero and one it's a one so it's a so the gray code for one one zero one 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 zero is one zero zero one okay this is one this is the gray code equivalent for this binary number. We have another example, let's say 1011, 1011. So step one is what? You write down the MSB as it is, so, so it came down as it is, one, all right? Now you bring this bit over here and you add it. Add the MSB to the next bit. Now zero plus one is a one. Now you bring this bit and you add it to the next bit. So 1, 1, the sum is 0. Now you bring this 1 over here and add it. So 1, 1 is again a 0. Now this is the gray code for this binary number, all right? Now you see that this addition satisfies a property of the XOR operation or the XOR gate. XOR operation, all right? We'll be seeing this in a great detail when we're studying logic gates. But over here it's just needed, so we need to have a little brief idea. Let's say we have two inputs and one output. So the input combination we know this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Alright, so, so now this, this XOR operation is what? This is an odd ones detector. Odd ones detector. Which means the output will be high when we have odd number of ones. So here we have no one, so it could be zero. Now here we have one one, so it means the output is high. Again one one, the output is high. Then even number of ones, so the output is low. All right? Which means you add a zero and a one to get a one. You add one and a one to get a zero. We have seen it over here. One one is added to get a zero. One is added to get a zero. One x odd with one is a zero. Okay? And similarly, your one x odd with one is a zero. So this addition basically is what? If you if you if you want to to skip this part to add the MSB to the next bit, write the sum and neglect the carry. You do what? You you can write in this place x odd the MSB to the next bit. For this step number two, you can write what? X or MSB 
to the next bit. So this could be more precise. All right? Is that clear? Okay. Now we can also generalize this down. Yeah, so we will see uh, while well, 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 converting binary to gray or converting gray to binary, the most significant bit is the same in both. Okay? So I can say that G3 would be equal to B3. All right? Now, now we have G2. So G2, so this would be equal to what? G2 would be equal to B3 XOR with B2. B3 XOR with B2. G1 is what? G1. It's B1 XOR with B2. B1 XOR with B2. And similarly, we have G0, which is B1 XOR with B0. All right? Yes. So you can see from here, let, let, me, let me write them down. So this was the given binary number. So this is the B3, B2, B1, B0. And this is the resulting uh, uh, gray code. So let's say this is G3, G2, G1, and G0. All right, so G3 was equal to B3. Now for, for, for G2, you do what? You bring in B3 and you have B2. So B3 XOR with B2, all right? Now for this, you know, for this G1, you have B2 XOR with B1, all right? And for this G0, you bring in the B1 and you have the B0 and you XOR them. So this gives you a G0, which is B1 XOR with B0, all right? Okay, so now we, now we, uh, we, we deal with the opposite conversions, okay? Which is the gray code. To binary so we convert gray code to binary okay and again we have some steps but here we have a little difference all right we see this for an example let's say we are given a number one 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 zero we've, we've seen it previously as well one 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 zero now this is a group given gray code okay this is the given gray code and we've get, we have to convert it to binary so let's say this is uh, g3 g2 g1 and g0 all right for later on simplification so the first step is again the, the, the same as what as it was previously write down the msb as it is so msb is added uh, is written as one now you have to do what add the msb to the next bit of the gray code all right, so you add it to this gray code. All right, let's say we have a one plus one. So we have what? It's, we have, a, so let me write it down straighter so we don't confuse it with the multiplication sign. So we have a one plus one, the sum is zero. You write down the sum, you neglect the carry. Now this zero, this zero is now added again to this one. So 0 plus 1 is what? It's a 1. And similarly now this one is added to this 0 to give a 1 again. So now this is the binary equivalent for this gray code. Okay? This is what? This is binary. And let's say I write it generally B3, B2, B1 and B0. Now for the sake of understanding we have another example. Uh, the same, I believe we took one zero zero one. One zero zero one. So you write down the MSB as it is. Now this one is as it is, all right? And you add it to the next bit of the gray code. You add it. You add it. So one zero is a one. You add this one. One zero is a one. Now you add uh, this 
to the next bit of the gray code. So one one, the, the sum is zero and the carry is one. Now if you see again, this follows the XOR operation, which is the odd ones detector. Have a look. So one added with one is zero. One XOR with one. One added with one gives sum a zero. And we have to write down the sum. And similarly, one added with one XOR with one gives a zero. Uh, over here, one XOR with one has a zero. One XOR with one is what? It is zero. So this also follows the XOR operation, which is the odd ones detector, all right? So we can also write in this case, add M is B to the next bit of dry code, write the sum and neglect the carry. So for this, for this step, you can write the step number two as what? Uh, XOR MSB to the next bit of gray code. How did I write this F? Of gray code. All right. Now, if you want to generalize it, that we did in the binary to gray code, so you see what? That, that B3 and G3 is always the same. I've told you that previously as well. So, in this case, we have. B3 equal to G3 again. Now B2 would be what? B1 would be what? And B0 would be what? So B2, B2 is what? It's B3 XOR with G2. B3 XOR with G2. All right, B1 is what? It's B2 XOR with G1. B2 XOR with G1. And similarly, B0, so B0 is B1 XOR with G0. B1 XOR with G0. B1 XOR with G0, all right? So that's about the gray code. We introduced the gray code, just a simple definition. And then we saw the interconversions of gray code and binary, okay? So that's all for today from my side. So if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel and in the next lecture, goodbye.